Hey guys, today I have decided to put together a selection of assets that can bring up to 50x at the peak of the bull market. The main feature of this list of coins will be the fact that they all have a capitalization of less than $200 million. This means that we will be investing early and reaping the rewards of our research within a few months. I promise this video will be super useful and most importantly, will bring you profit. So, subscribe to the channel and like the video. So, I suggest we don't hesitate and move on to the first project in this portfolio. Zignaly is a cool platform for automated cryptocurrency trading that greatly simplifies the process of manual trading with the help of trading bots. However, before we get into a more detailed analysis, I would like to clarify that this is just my own opinion and market analysis, not a financial recommendation. Therefore, I recommend that you do your own research and always assess all the risks associated with investing. One of the key points is that many potential traders simply do not have enough capital, knowledge, or time to trade effectively. This is where Zignali really shines. The platform automates trading by integrating with external signals. All you have to do is open an account, find a trader whose style matches yours, and everything runs on autopilot. Most interestingly, you only pay the trader a percentage of profitable trades and nothing if the trades go into the red. And yes, for those working with large volumes, there is a Z Prime feature that gives you access to expert traders who customize strategies for large volumes. They also have a cool Z score system that uses AI to select a trader for you based on reliability, risk, and profitability. In my opinion, this is a very interesting resource that can get a big influx of audience when even more new users come to crypto, which is closer to the peak of the bull market. As for the outlook, Zignali's market cap is currently at $140 million, and I see the potential to grow to $7 to $7.5 billion, which would be up to 53 times. But keep in mind that not all of the supply is currently in circulation. And now we are moving on to the next, no less interesting asset. The second project in our selection is Goldfinch. This is a revolutionary decentralized lending protocol that allows you to take out loans without traditional cryptocurrency collateral. Instead, loans are fully collateralized by assets outside of the blockchain, opening the door to many who have not previously had access to such services. Goldfinch offers a unique approach to lending based on the principle of trust through consensus. In this system, the credit worthiness of borrowers is assessed collectively by other network members, not just based on their crypto assets. This creates a truly decentralized ecosystem where lenders and borrowers can interact on equal terms. When comparing Goldfinch to other projects, the closest analog is MakerDAO, but with one important difference, Goldfinch does not require crypto collateral, making it more accessible to a wider range of users. Currently, Goldfinch's market capitalization is $66 million, and I predict that it could grow to $6.5 to $7 billion at the top of the market, giving it the potential for 106 times growth. However, we must understand that for all the potential of the idea and its execution, there are moments that can become a problem. A good example would be the circulation of tokens, of which only 25% are in the market. The third Graphlink project is a revolutionary protocol that allows you to work with the blockchain without writing a single line of code. The trick is that all processes are automated, the system itself performs actions in response to certain events. What does this mean? You don't need any technical knowledge to work with the blockchain. Everything can be done through an intuitive interface. Graphlink has two main components, Graphlink Protocol and Graphlink Chain. Graphlink Protocol allows you to automate processes without programming. It has four main parts, IDE, Application, Engine, and Marketplace. The IDE allows you to create automation by dragging and dropping blocks. It's as easy as it gets. Users can use pre-built templates, edit variables, and start the automation process with ease. The main component, the engine, runs on top of the Graphlink chain and is responsible for the accurate execution of all processes. It collects and processes data from various sources, such as DeFi applications or centralized exchanges, and stores it in a reliable database. And the marketplace allows you to buy and sell ready-made automation templates, creating a kind of marketplace for users. 
It turns out that this project combines everything to become a so-called platform for developers who do not need to have deep knowledge. At the same time, if you don't want to make something yourself, you can find ready-made solutions from other creators. Here is a bot on your screen that will notify you of transactions from Wales. Currently, GLQ's market capitalization is only $17 million, but in a bull market, it could easily reach $2 billion. That's 117 times potential growth. Just over 50% of the shares are outstanding, 52 to be exact. This is quite good, but there are still risks that could have a significant impact on the price. Next on our list is the Credify token. This is a unique platform that combines the DeFi protocol with traditional financial technologies, creating a bridge between cryptocurrency lenders and small and medium-sized businesses. Credify solves the main problems of access to credit for businesses by offering decentralized and secure solutions. The platform works in three main areas. Portfolio lending, where users can offer stable coins in a portfolio with different levels of risk. Peer-to-peer -peer lending, where users can lend and borrow directly without intermediaries and trade finance, where Credify combines traditional financial services with decentralization, including unsecured loans. I like that this idea is quite unique and adds credibility to cryptocurrencies, because now people will understand how transparent and honest they are. With a market capitalization of only $11 million, Credify has huge growth potential. It is projected that by 2025, the capitalization could reach $1.1 billion, which means almost 100 times for early investors. By the way, the situation is much better with the share of supers in the market here. At the time of recording this video, the market share is almost 75%, which is a pretty good result, especially for such a small market cap. What do you think about this kind of lending? The fifth and final project was Azuro. In a world where the desire to take risks for potential rewards is growing every day, a whole generation of degenerates is emerging, both in crypto and outside of it. And it is Azuro that enters this arena with a mission to break down barriers by creating a protocol that depends on community participation and ownership. Azuro is the liquidity infrastructure layer for online prediction. Thanks to the new liquidity tree model, Azuro maintains liquidity in the market and offers thousands of markets for sports events and other games. This makes the platform accessible to everyone. Anyone can create applications or built-in integrations without permissions. The Azuro protocol is based on a set of smart contracts that provide a platform for creating predictive applications based on ERC-20 tokens. In addition, the platform uses a hybrid solution with oracles and an automated market maker to ensure transparency and fairness of bets. Azuro is operated through DAO, which is responsible for managing the protocol. At the end of each event, part of the profit is sent to the DAO from the liquidity of the pools. By the way, if you look at the statistics, you can understand that Azuro is quite a popular and necessary resource for users. At the moment, Azuro's capitalization is only $14 million, but I see the potential for growth to $700 million, which is 50 times. However, I cannot help but mention that this is the most risky asset in the entire selection, with only 16% of the tokens in circulation. And that's it for me. I would like to remind you that this video is by no means a financial advice. This is just my vision and thoughts on the market, so you should always do your own research before investing and invest wisely. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the growth of coins. Thanks for watching your coin post.